we were able to very quickly go from an understanding of what this virus was to what the genetic sequence was to actually developing a vaccine. But there's a lot of confusion about developing a vaccine. In the next, I would say, four weeks or so, we will go into what is called a phase one clinical trial to determine if one of the candidates, and there are more than one candidate, there are probably at least 10 or so that are at various stages of development. The one that we've been talking about is one that involves a platform called messenger RNA, but it really serves as a prototype for other types of vaccines that are simultaneously being developed. Getting it into phase one in a matter of months is the quickest that anyone has ever done literally in the history of vaccinology. However, the process of developing a vaccine is one that is not that quick. So we go into phase one. It'll take about three months to determine if it's safe. That'll bring us three or four months down the pike. And then you go into an important phase called phase two to determine if it works. That will take at least another eight months or so. So when you've heard me say we would not have a vaccine that would even be ready to start to deploy for a year to a year and a half, that is the time frame. Now, anyone who thinks they're going to go more quickly than that, I believe will be cutting corners that would be detrimental. The work that's being done at the NIH is involved both in the development of a vaccine in the long term and in the development, hopefully, of therapies in the shorter term.